M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Got some firmware update news for the ICOM 9700. Uh, I haven't got a 9700, so I'm still going to provide you with the link. And let's have a read here. So, 9700 here. It's gone from version 1.30 to 1.31. When in the center mode of the spectrum scope, the ref level setting has been updated so that it does not reflect the scope waveform during transmission. A thick white line indicating the center when in the center mode of the spectrum screen will not be displayed. The firmware update version 1.31 has been improved so it will not reset settings and memories. And that's it really. So I'm going to put the link in the description and um, you know I'll just I'm, I can't do the the firmware but basically download the firmware you'll have a data file and I'll show you what the data file is going to be called so I'll click on the link and I will download the firmware even though I haven't got the radio like so and then once this fills if I click it And double click this bit here. Now the data file, where is it? Now have I, is that, let me just make sure I've done the right thing. Firmware, yeah, that is the right one. Let's go back to that file. Yeah, I can see that what I've just downloaded actually was the CS, the new programming software, version 1.31. So it's well worth getting that as well. So I will, I, might, I think I might run that for the sake of it. I'm doing the video, so I might as well. So we'll just download that. We'll run it. <coughs> so double click it, and all you do is look, set up XE. And I'm going to click yes. And go next, English. Should be quite straightforward. Getting there. It's about two bowls a day, isn't it? <clears throat> I think it doesn't have to be exact, does it? Yeah, it's about two bowls a day, isn't I just think you just get a feel for it. Click finish. Now, hopefully, it's appeared. Here, there it is. There. So you have the initial setup, and which you choose SD card or USB for programming software. I just click it so you can see what it looks like. But we're actually doing this video for firmware. So look, you would choose one of these. Either put the SD card in the PC or the comp, the USB cable to the radio. And then click OK, and it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna look like this when it opens up. And then you can, if you've already got a file, you can just go File Open, or you can use the COM port here to read the radio and clone. And yeah, we've got 23 SEMs, all that. I don't really use any of this. DR mode, it's very good, and it's don't forget it's all free. DV gateway, also ex very extensive. So that helps you with the programming software. Now let's look at the firmware now, where I, which is the, the reason I did the video. So I'll put both these links in the description. So we're on the firmware page. 
So go to the bottom, agree, and then click, I have read, download. And then this file that's coming here, this zip, extract it somewhere where you're not going to forget. That's it. And then when you click it, there's the file straight away that matters. Get this out my view. Right, see the 9700E131 data file. Extract this whole lot. Extract it to somewhere where you're going to find it. So click extract. Let's just say you've, I'm going to put it in the AH705. Click OK. And it's in there now. And then what you do is when you put your SD card in the adapter in the PC, just drop that. You'll have, what, you'll have a file appear, um, a yellow file appear saying ICOM 970. Just, and then the data file will appear underneath that underneath that just push it just literally copy it and push it into the the yellow file and then it will show up on your on your 9700 so yeah hope this helps put the links in sorry i haven't got the radio 73 all the best